I lost my car keys, but I found a stress ball, so there's that. Fucking sucks, because I have to now buy new car keys. I have my other car keys, like my, because it comes with two pairs, or two sets of keys, but the other set, it doesn't have the transcoder, and if you guys know anything about cars, uh, for my Porsche, I have to have the transcoder, the transcoder in order for my car to turn on. I mean, it, I'm able to unlock it and lock it, but can't drive it, so that sucks. So hopefully I find it soon, but if I don't, I'm gonna have to buy some new keys, which I'm trying to avoid, but hey, whatever. All right guys, today's video is a little bit different than what I usually upload. Today we're talking about the five or top, I don't know why I'm doing this. Uh, today we're talking about five applications, not five, is it five? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven. It's seven different uh, apps that I use as an entrepreneur that help me out. And these are apps that are on the iPad. So yeah, if you guys have an iPad, if you guys are on to or into entrepreneurship or you guys are an entrepreneur, some of these apps you might find useful. This is what I use on a daily basis or constantly. And this is what makes my iPad a workhorse, quote unquote. It, this is the reason why I've been using the iPad a lot more than my computer. Even though I like it, I love my computer, don't get me wrong, but this is just a lot more handy. It's just really easy to carry around. I'm able to draw whenever I'm on, uh, trying to draw something, design, whatever the case is. I'm able to use Apple Pencil and it's a lot faster than using the mouse and keyboard. Uh, but sometimes I do use it just when I'm there, but most of the times I'm using this. And if you guys don't have an iPad, hopefully this video kind of persuades you to get one instead of a computer because I had a MacBook before this and I just wasn't using it as much. It was just there, just laying there. I mean, I would use it from time to time. I would use my PC more since it was uh, more capable than the Mac. But since I got this iPad, the iPad's been doing most of the work and then the Mac is just for video editing, not the Mac, but the PC. First off, we have things three. If you guys watched my previous video on how to stay productive or how I stay productive as an entrepreneur, you guys know that I really like using this app and this is the app that I use to stay organized, which I'm gonna go ahead and recommend you guys, especially if you guys are entrepreneurs or are just uh, posting stuff online or have an online business, which again, you guys would be an entrepreneur or classified as an entrepreneur. So uh, this is a really, really good app to stay organized, keep track of everything and know what task you're doing and what tasks you need to get done and just know where you're at in each task. So let me go ahead and open it up real quick. It's also available for the iPhone. So for those of you guys who don't wanna get it for the iPad, you could get it for the iPhone because it is in the pricey side. It's $20 for the iPad version and $9 for the iPhone version. So some of you guys might want the iPhone instead of the iPad version, but it's really handy to have it in both devices. Now in the iPad version, you do have the features of using the keyboard and the keyboard allows you to use all these shortcuts so you could quickly just create a note or create a new to-do list, create a project, filter by tags and all this stuff. And the way that I use it is I store everything on my inbox in here. I go ahead and add anything that I need to get done, projects that I wanna get done, ideas, things that I need to buy, uh, websites that I wanna look at, basically anything that I could think of, I go ahead and add it in here. So I'll go ahead and just add task just for the fuck of it. Oh, and you guys are also able to use the notes section to add a little note so you could describe the task, what it is that you're doing, blah, blah, blah. And you guys are also able to do lists. So for example, if you have this one thing that has multiple lists in it, you could go ahead and do that and then check off each thing on that task. For example, for this video or for videos that I create for YouTube, I go ahead and I go to my series shortcuts, which is another feature that you could do or another way that you could connect things three is by using uh, shortcuts. So let's just say that I was creating a video. So we'll just add a video. Then it's gonna ask us where we want this list to go. So we're gonna go on the YouTube video list. And then if we go back to things three, we see it up here, video, and it has a list of the things that need to get done for that specific task. So there's the research, the rough draft, the final script, recording, editing, and the scripts are just like little basic outlines that I do, not a full-fledged script. Then there's the um, find the background music, polish the video, thumbnail, render, upload, and all that. So it, this is an example of a task that has a little subtask on it. So it's very handy in that way. And then whenever I need to do a task, I'll just go ahead, drag it, and move it to the today. And then from the today, I just start checking out everything that I've done so far. Gotta pay my Adobe bill. Um, then I have to just check out everything or check off everything. And I'm also able to see any of my upcoming things that I have. And under the anytime section, you're able to just drag a different task that you could do whenever you want. They don't have a specific date, or you could give them a date. In this case, let's just say that I wanna work on this video tomorrow. 
go ahead, schedule it out, it moves out to tomorrow, and then it will pop up here the following day. And if you have different projects, for example, I have my YouTube channel, I have my private label, and then I have my drop shipping business. So if I wanted to go ahead and divide that, I could divide that here and I could just divide it into sections. And every task for that particular project goes into its own little folder. I have a section for website, for research, for ideas, for bills, for the payment revive kit, YouTube, uh, Instagram, and I go ahead and organize everything that way. And it's a very useful app, which I'd recommend that you guys get if you want to stay organized. There are more apps that are similar to this, but I just really like Things 3. It just integrates really well with Apple. Next up, we have Vectornator, and this is one of my favorite apps. I talked about it again in the other video. I might need to make a complete video for it or its own standalone video because it's really feature rich and there's so much you could do. And the best part is that it's free. So you don't have to pay for it. There's no um, hidden costs. Cause sometimes there's these applications where you download it and it's free. But if you want to get this specific brush, you have to upgrade to the pro version. So there's nothing like that. There's no upgrades, there's no subscriptions. And it's just a flat out free app. And it's so crazy because it's super handy. It's super useful. It's not dumbed down. It's not limiting it, There's really, sky's the limit with the app, honestly. For what I use it, it suits me perfectly fine. I was gonna get Affinity Designer, but I just went with this one because honestly, I could do the same thing and save 20 bucks. But uh, if you guys want an episode, not an episode, if you guys want a video on Vectornator, let me know so I could create one because it's feature rich and there's just so much to cover and so much you could do with this application. Just to give you an example, if you guys seen those little snippets or bloopers when I sometimes at the end of my videos, this is where I created this. Oh, moved it around, didn't mean to do that. This is where I went ahead and created this. Uh, same thing for some of the stuff that you see on my Instagram. If we go, where is it? Here, this is where I created uh, this little Shopify myth section or little, I'm, I'm not even sure what, what the hell to call it, an informative post or something. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you know what I'm talking about. Uh, those posts that I have that have text and whatnot, this is where I went ahead and created it. And I do create some of my thumbnails. I, I'm between this and Affinity Designer and Photoshop for my thumbnails. It's just whatever is closer to me. Definitely give Vectornator a try. You guys could use this for drop shipping. So if you guys are creating your ads, you could use this. It's a lot more versatile than Canva because I know some of you guys use Canva and that's why I recommend people who are not design savvy. I would recommend you guys use Canva. But for those of you guys who want to experiment a little bit more, who want that extra flexibility that Canva doesn't provide, use Vectornator. It's free and honestly, you're not gonna need anything else. Next up, we have Affinity Photo, and Affinity Photo is just like Photoshop. It's actually the alternative to Photoshop for the iPad because currently Photoshop hasn't released the iPad version. I'm still waiting on it. The only issue that I have with Affinity is that things are just placed differently, but honestly, it's expected because it's a different company that's creating the application. The, that's like the only issue. But once I figure it out or I research it, it's pretty much the same thing. What I use this application mainly for is just to edit images, to get rid of imperfections. For example, if I take a product image and and there's some dust on there or there's a smudge or there's a stain, whatever the case is, I could quickly remove it with this application and I use it to like merge images. So for thumbnails and stuff like that, let me show you actually what I mean. So let's just say that I wanted to get rid of this logo right here in this uh, picture that I took with my phone. By the way, guys, if you wanna follow me on Instagram, just type in mr.ecom and follow me, ask me any questions if you have any questions. And if you wanna see some of the uh, product shots that I shot here. So let's just say that I didn't want this that says product. I could quickly remove it by going over to the brush tool, selecting in painting brush, and then just going over it and that pretty much removes it. I don't have to worry about it. I don't have to mask or do all these little fancy things. I just quickly go in, erase it, boom, I'm good to go. And the same thing for people, you could do these on faces on, like let's just say that I didn't like how, not sure if I could find anything on myself, but let's just say I didn't like how my hair looked here. I could go in and just quickly erase it, make sure you select it. Let's just say that I didn't like this. I could go in, remove it. Didn't remove it that well there. <laughs> but you guys see what it does. I'm trying to find something. Okay, let's just say right here. I didn't like that. I didn't like that. I didn't like that. I could go in and just start removing this stuff. And you see, it honestly works like magic. 
So if you guys take a lot of pictures and you have a lot of imperfections or you notice them after you take them and you're like, oh crap, I have to redo it. You don't have to just use this application. It's a lifesaver. And that's pretty much what I use it for. I could create my business cards. I could create flyers and everything on here, but I prefer to use Vectornator for that. I just really like using this application for images. So if you guys have your own store and taking your own product pictures and don't want to pay a monthly membership for Photoshop, definitely use your iPad and download uh, Affinity Photo. It is $20, but it's money better spent because you're only paying $20 and you have Affinity Photo for life. Uh, with Photoshop, you're paying $9 a month if you get the uh, photographer kit, I believe, or the photographer bundle, whatever it is. Uh, and if you just get the single application, it's like 20 bucks, nine bucks. Uh, don't quote me on it. I haven't checked on the prices because I just stopped paying for a lot of uh, their uh, features or a lot of Adobe's uh, subscriptions. I I just prefer this because I've been using my iPad, so I use these applications instead of Adobe now. But back to what I was saying, if you guys are taking any product pictures, you wanna go ahead and get this app. The same thing if you guys uh, upload a lot to Instagram or if you guys take pictures of yourself and just wanna clean something up or get rid of something, you could even delete people. <laughs> you could even delete people that are in the background. You don't want them, go ahead, get them out the way or delete them. And yeah, that, that's pretty much what you could do. So it's very powerful. You could obviously do a lot more to it, but for what I use it, it's pretty much that. Oh, and as a side thing, you guys are also able to edit PDFs. So if you ever get sent a PDF by a business, by payment processors, you could just quickly edit it on here. You don't have to hop in the computer. You don't have to print it out. You don't have to write over it or transfer it somewhere else. You could quickly edit everything and type everything straight from here. So that's a quick little plus. But honestly, if you guys are entrepreneurs, I would definitely recommend Affinity Photo. Next up, we have IA Writer and it's a writing application. I know it's a little bit weird, but hear me out. If you guys do any form of ad copy or write long text or write books or whatever the case is, but you spend a lot of time writing, I would definitely recommend you guys get this app. I find it really handy for when I write my video scripts, whenever I do some long form content that I need to type a lot, or whenever I write some eBooks, for example, the uh, the beginner's dropshipping kit, like the eBook that I have that you guys could download, that one was typed here. And then I just went ahead and added the images after afterwards in Photoshop, but um, yeah, that this is where it was typed. And if you guys do any sort of typing, I would definitely recommend you grab this app. The application is pretty simple to use. There are some key features that I really enjoy from this app, and this is why I'm recommending it, and it's because of the markdown and the uh, syntax highlight. The highlight syntax will make any unnecessary adjectives, uh, empty adverbs, or just weak verbs stand out, so you get a better sense of how you're writing. And markdown allows you to quickly and efficiently structure your text, so if you guys want to have a headline, and then a subheader, and then just want to italicize something or just add bulletin list or whatever the case is you want to just structure it differently you could go ahead and do so without having to click somewhere else or press anywhere else or go to a menu and add a headline or add something else and it's all done just by typing punctuation characters which if you go to a website that has a list of everything that they do or like the list of all the codes or not codes but a list of all the special characters that you could use to use markdown basically so let me just show you what i mean so for example if i wanted to type in a headline i would just type in Okay. Oop. The story, and then that adds a headline. And if I want to add a subheadline, I would just go ahead at three. Not Omar. What the hell? <laughs> and then that goes ahead and adds a subheadline. So as you see here, you see the story by Mr. Econ. And I could go ahead and just start typing like I normally would. And this is the syntax highlight. It's basically highlighting the adjectives, the adverbs, the verbs and whatnot. And you could get a better sense of how you write or if you need to remove anything. So for example, if I added the brown or the big brown fox, the big brown fox, actually, there you go. The big brown fox, it looks a little bit weird. It's like, okay, why are they two uh, yellow text right next to each other? All right, I could just go ahead and remove one. Boom. Remove one looks a little bit better and then you just kind of see a pattern or start noticing a pattern with your writing and it just makes your writing that much better. So here's an example of a script that I made 
uh, you see everything is highlighted. You see that I added some structure to it. And if I go ahead and just press play here, it's all structure and everything. And I didn't have to lift my finger. I just did everything while I was typing. So that's pretty efficient. And I really enjoy that it's all black and I don't have any distractions because sometimes you do end up getting distracted if you have other things going around um, from personal experience. And last but not least, we have Yoink. Yoink is kind of like a clipboard or it is a clipboard. So you're able to basically grab a bunch of images, links, and just copy them there and then you could drag those um, links and images to anywhere else you want. Okay, let's just say that you were working on a logo, you were designing a logo for your Shopify store and you're working with your business partner and you were coming up with ideas for your logo. So you could go on Google and just look for images for a modern logo because let's just say that that's what you were trying to go for and just go and quickly grab the images that you like and then it goes ahead and when you drop them in this application, it groups them all together so that everything is in one place. And then you could go ahead and keep on grabbing images. Oh crap. You could go ahead and keep on grabbing images. You could drop them in the same place to stack them with the other images, or you could drop them separately. So that creates another stack and you have another set of images. And within those set of images, you could go in and select the ones that you want. Let's just say that you didn't like this one. You could get rid of it by just selecting it and then just deleting it. Or you could go ahead and um, grab them and then just paste them wherever you need to. Or you could go ahead and then grab the other stack or the other group of images and then drop them in there and that's gonna go ahead and just group everything together. And if you're talking back and forth with your business partner, you don't wanna be downloading the images onto your iPad or just onto your device. You quickly just drop them there open up a new message, email them to them, just swipe right, or is it, is it right? Yeah. Just swipe from one side of the iPad and then you can just quickly just drop all the images or go in, select the ones that you want and just drop them there. And the good thing about this or what I like about this is that you could do this, you could add a bunch of stuff in there. So you could add images, you could add text, you could add all these things and they're not gonna go away until you delete them. So it's a very useful if you are sharing a lot of information and don't wanna be downloading stuff onto your iPad, like to your, um, to your images, or you don't wanna be downloading stuff to your files and you just wanna quickly just drop them somewhere else to then drag them and drop them in another place. It's a very useful app. Uh, I honestly find it super useful. It's like one of the must have apps for the iPad. At least that's how I feel as an entrepreneur because it's a super useful multitasking app. So hopefully that gives you an idea of how I use these applications for business and it gives you some sort of idea or some sort of, um, I don't know, some sort of inspiration for you to use them or an excuse for you to use an iPad and use all these applications, but they end up making my life a lot easier. And these are the top five or top six applications that I find the most useful for the iPad as an entrepreneur. So that pretty much does it for the video. Ooh, I don't know why I, why I did that. So that pretty much does it for the video guys. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions regarding dropshipping, e-commerce, just online businesses, or you wanna see more videos like this, make sure to subscribe. And also guys, if you guys do like these type of content or this type of content, make sure to let me know so I could make more content like this about applications and stuff that I use as an entrepreneur so that I could help you guys out. So some of you guys might be thrown off by the fact that the title says five applications, but then I said seven and then I said six. So uh, just to quickly clarify it, it's because those two other apps, they're more of websites and then they have the designated app. So it's like the website's just better. I just sometimes use the, um, the application. So I just decided to get rid of it. I mean, I'll talk about them later. I'll talk about those websites later, but uh, just know that it was just those five applications. Like those were five actual applications. The other two were more of like websites. So I just, I just didn't want to add them. So then that's why I went from uh, seven to six to five.